Hi everybody, welcome back to my book vlog. Today is March 2nd, and of course it is time for the March to be reads. So first off, I want to just recount what I was reading for. Um, I'm finishing up, finally, one of my February books. Wolf Untamed by Paige Tyler. It took me an entire month, but I was so glad I took my time on this. I love this book. I will be getting the entire series. My first step is to get Hungry Like a Wolf, which is book one. Um, I really loved this book. Um, and next, a February to be read that I'm transferring into March because I didn't have time to get it done. We have The Secret of the Old Clock by Carolyn Keene. It's a Nancy Drew number one. I love Nancy Drew. One of my favorite books of all time. I'm really excited to read this. I'm trying to group them all together here. Bear with me. Next I have Ever After High, The Storybook of Legends. And Ever After High was a, no it is, it is a Netflix show. Kind of like um, Isle of the Lost and Descendants. It's about the children of storybook characters such as Snow White and the Evil Queen and Sleeping Beauty. And basically, in the, in the series, you are separated by royals and rebels. And Raven Queen, the daughter of the Evil Queen, is trying to change her future, her fate. And this is the first book in the series. I'm really excited to read it. I love this pretty um, first page, basically. And then as you get into the book, these beautiful little edgings. They're one of my favorites. I'm so excited to read this. Next, we have more Babysitter's Club. And I'm excited. These are what I call day reads because it takes me an entire day to read them. So I, I had to skip um, the second book, The Library Didn't Have It, and I have the fifth book, Dawn and the Impossible Three. I don't quite remember this one. I know it introduces the newest member, Dawn, uh, I think it's Schaffer. I could be wrong. <laughs> and then number six, Christie's Big Day. I remember this one because Christy Thomas, the president of the club, her mother is getting married, and I think it's a whole disaster, but I, I vividly remember this book. It was one of my favorites. And then the final one, I had to skip number seven, um, Claudia and Mean Janine, I believe it's called. And I went straight into eight with Boy Crazy Stacy. And if you know anything about Stacy and Claudia, they are. They just go wacko bizarre for boys unlike the somewhat younger members christy and mary ann but these are my three baby service clubs it's gonna take me exactly three days to finish all these so i'm excited to get started on these ones next we have unfortunately this one doesn't have a cover my brother lost it but this is harry potter and the sorcerer's stone I've never read Harry Potter, and I've seen the first movie. I haven't read the first book, but I've seen the first movie. I am excited to read this. Um, I, as I drop it, <laughs> I absolutely adore this little, little art on the start of each chapter. It's really cute. I think I will enjoy the book because I did enjoy the movie and I'm excited to start the series. So that's that done. This is a big TBR this year, or this month. Technically, yes, this year too. Um, okay, next we have another one of my brother's books um, by 2T Sutherland. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. It is Wings of Fire, book one, The Dragonette Prophecy. And I'm iffy with this book. I bought this book for him. And he absolutely loves the series. So I'm going to go in it with an open mind. It might be good. I might enjoy it. Who knows? I, I do love um, how pretty it looks, though. 
and a little shine on Wings of Fire. I'm a little excited. I'll tell you that much. All right. Next. I know. Next. <laughs> we have a reread of The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I read this during the pandemic and I absolutely love this book. Um, I did get the second one. I did get Killer Instinct and I will be reading it probably start of the summer but I wanted to go back and reread the first book so I could have a fresh mind. It has been three years since I last read this so I want a fresh mind before I go into the new book and I loved this the first time. I'm gonna love it the second time. I know that. All right. <clears throat> this is Poisoned by Jennifer Donnelly and this is a retelling of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs I believe I don't know much about this book uh, it did look interesting and I absolutely love this cover I got this um, 2021 during Christmas and it has been sitting on my shelf and I think it's about time I crack this open and read it. I hold, look at that gloss. <laughs> um, but I, I hope I enjoy it. And if I do, I will read uh, Stepsister, which I think was her first book she wrote. I believe it's a retelling of Cinderella. I could be wrong, but it, look, it just looks really pretty and it's fascinating. I love fairy tale retellings. I had started reading the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer. I read Cinder and I read Scarlet and I was like halfway through Cress and then the pandemic hit and I was like throwing everything to the wind and I'm gonna go back and read those. I think I think in May I'm gonna read Cinder. I think I have a whole list of books on my book club that um, I'm gonna be reading this year. Okay. The second to last book because there's two more, is The Dry by Jane Harper. And this is a suspense book. Um, I felt I needed a little suspense, a little thrill in my life. I was feeling anxious for it last month, but I couldn't fit it in. So I'm reading it this month. And it is about an FBI agent, a federal agent who goes back to his childhood home after his childhood best friend is killed and so is his family and he has to figure out what's going on and I'm excited to read this. I picked this up at the Goodwill I believe and I've been holding on to it for a while. I've been holding on to a lot of books. This book, um, Poisoned, The Naturals, Harry Potter, and like quite a few more. I own all the Lunar Chronicles books. I have too many books. That's not a problem. I just wish I had enough time to read them. But I am excited to read this. I will be getting this done. I'm going to try and get all of these done. Uh, I feel like a couple of them, including this next book that I'm going to show you, will have to go into April because um, I'm starting them late. This book, um, another family member of mine is reading, but I'm excited to read it. It is called The Southerners, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. I always mess up the title. It's fine. But this, um, I am very excited for this book. I've been holding on to it on Goodreads for about four, three years, but I finally got it. Um, my, mother, my mother is currently reading it, but I should be able to start reading it probably within the next two weeks. But I just want to spend a couple minutes appreciating the beautiful, I think, peach blossoms and the coffins. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But for those who don't know the story, it is about um, Patricia Campbell, who is, I believe, a stay-at-home mom. She has a bunch of kids, her husband's successful, and she feels like she just doesn't have the time in the world for stuff she wants, and so she is a part of this book club, and pretty soon this new person moves in, who 
Shocker turns out to be a vampire, and now they have to stop him before he charms everyone in town and sucks them dry. Um, I'm excited to read this. Like I said, I'm probably going to start it maybe the 13th, 14th of March, so it's going to be a little later, and it probably will go into April a bit, but I'm not too worried about that because my April book, which I will show you guys in April, I think it's a pretty cool book, but, um... It's a shorter read. I think it's only about two, three hundred pages, as opposed to this big boy who has uh, close to four hundred. But um, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for all my books. This is a ginormous read this year, and I'm going to, as I lean down and pick them up, count them all. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My March to be reds are eleven books. Um, I'm finishing this up today. Only got like maybe four or five pages left. I don't know why I'm stalling. But um, these are all my books for March, and I'm excited to start reading them. I hope y'all can find some on my list that you enjoy and I hope everyone has a great March. Bye!